Hey what is up everybody I'm back I'm back with another tutorial series on 3D Studio Max okay so basically in this tutorial series I am going to show you how to create a 3D bedroom model in 3D Studio Max okay so we include everything step by step we include everything like uh, create a materials textures create uh, give a mat V-ray render a setups and camera lighting everything basically in interior modeling what we are going to need is everything i show you in series okay so basically this series is not only for of uh, one or two videos this includes maybe 10 to 12 videos okay i don't i don't know but i roughly i am uh, means I say only roughly uh, I cannot give the accurate because according to time and length I can increase or decrease the number of videos okay so in this tutorial I am going to show you how to create first of all this is the AutoCAD plan which uh, my friend gave me for this tutorial special thanks for him or uh, this is the basic plan if you see you have at least some detailed plan now our 3d studio max is open now we are going to import our plan which previously we are clean so basically you can came here you can see here the 3d studio max icon okay if you are older version so you have a older icon so simply click here and go to import here and simply click on it now we are going to desktop now you can see here the clean plan is showed which we had saved previously simply click and open would you like to continue simply click, click on yes yes Okay, leave is at it as it is and give all the permissions okay now you can see here all the layers are separate okay you can select it okay windows layers are alug door layers are different and wall layers are alug So what we are going to do, we are simply group them. So press Ctrl A and go to group here and simply click on it and give it name a plan. Okay, basic plan. Now what we are going to do, we are move, we are select this move tool and go uh, give the value of axis as zero zero zero. Okay, so x axis 0, y axis 0, and z axis 0. Okay, so now you can see our plan. Now, this is the very basic plan, so it is not possible to, uh, it has a thickness over. Okay thickness issue this is the only 2d plan so the front dimension is zero but uh, in some cases that's not zero so uh, to give it z, z value zero simply come here and click on scale and move this up and take it as zero means this layer is zero okay it has not height is only length and width so now simply select a move tool or now we are going to top viewport by pressing simply E key ok now we are going to came here snap toggle tool right click on it and you can see here grid and snap settings are open we checked only vertex ok and everything to be unchecked ok and now go to options and enable access constraint okay these two options are only checked everything 
leave as it is and close the menu now you click on line menu and simply trace every point like at the doors windows okay so here also we have a window here the bathroom door this is the main entrance of the room and this is the balcony door so here you can close the line it asks for close simply click on yes now go to the modifier panel open uh, select dots if you have take a mistake over here since like this so you can simply fix here okay so i i do the mistake too much mistakes here so i can fix it okay one by one you can fix all the dots i forgot to turn on the snap toggle tool so it is errors are occur not this is the basically errors but this is my mistake so i can fix it now no okay basically you do this okay with my video because and i the clean plan is i provide in the description link so you can go to the go to the place which we are i upload and simply download because i simply upload it on the um, google drive so you can simply download now all the errors are fixed so we are going to right click and going to here convert to and click to the editable poly okay so here we have a wireframe selected but uh, we are going to select default shading because we show the color okay so we are going to simply here at the border and select the border and go to the front viewport by pressing f and uh, we can hold the shift key shift key and drag it up 3 times why 3 times because we have a uh, because we have a door line window bottom line and window top line so there are three lines which we are going to cover then sorry third one is the ceiling line that is why we are going to do this three times separately okay so first hold shift press click and up one two and three okay now you can see here it looks like a one so you simply press f4 key to see everything now simply you are going to press m for material editor and give it a material standard material and color black because 
for uh, by that you can see everything clearly okay now what we are going to do we are uncheck this and uh, select all the polygon by pressing control a and uh, click on flip okay so you can see the perfect one okay now you can see the bottom what i say bottom part of the room and uh, simply click on detach the function shows here at okay and you can call it uh, floor so type floor and uh, simply click okay now what we are going to do we are again click on border tool and uh, select the topmost border and give it a cap okay again we are going to select this polygon select top and again detach it and call roof okay now we have a simple and basic what you can say you can say the plant or cocoa okay it's like a box now we have do we have do the interior modeling so we uh, it is necessary to see inside okay but before that what we are to going to do we are going to do uh, give a thickness of the wall okay so select uh, polygon and uh, select the polygon and simply go here and create a box okay go to front view part by pressing f and uh, create a box 